My name is Tertius Simmers, Western Cape Provincial Minister of Human Settlements. The Kunradi Park development for me as the Provincial Minister of Human Settlements exemplifies all the aspects of the programs which seeks to redress the injustices of the past, but also create a sustainable future. It integrates the love, work, play and year, even learn as an aspect of the development. So for me, this really is the personification and the ideal project which one would love to see across other areas of the Western Cape as well. If you think about it, in 2017 there was literally nothing. It was a concept. The land was owned by the provincial government. This is 22,000 hectares. So we found a way to optimally utilize this project site. Three billion rands later, in conjunction with the private sector, with the city of Cape Town, we're now developing what is a multi-income, multi-faceted, multi-approach in terms of developing various aspects of human settlements that will yield a minimum of three and a half thousand housing opportunities. The core focus for the Western Cape is affordable housing, which entails FLISP, it entails social housing, it entails rent to buy, but also ensuring that we can partner with the private sector. Secondly, we have a continued drive in terms of um, title deeds to ensure that our people are empowered through ownership, but also that we redress the injustices of the past. And last but not least, yes, informal settlements are a thing, it is a reality. We will be focusing on that, but through innovation, and we will be introducing as part of our task of innovative uh, approach in that regard, incremental housing, which will also be a first of it in South Africa. Incremental housing is where we actually throw a slab. We don't build on the entire slab. It's a, it's a portion, normally 27 square meters, so that we also give the, the qualifying beneficiary the opportunity to further develop their own needs as it expands. Since 2019, we've created over 37,000 housing opportunities. We've handed over well over 15,000 title deeds. We were the first province to actually launch a housing demand app, which sees the end beneficiary and given the impact of COVID, sitting in the comfort of the house, either registering for a housing opportunity or updating their details. We also launched the Western Cape Infrastructure Fund, which seeks to incentivize local municipalities to actually ensure that affordable housing from our perspective is driven so that we can expand the future and length of the housing pipeline to the future. We have seen people cry when they receive a title deed waiting 40 years. We have seen people cry getting a house. So you really change somebody's life. And that is why I'm also in politics, to change people's lives, but in a manner that it's tangible and they can say that this government has delivered.